It is AOC's 4K 40 inch curved monitor with a refresh rate of 60 Hz. This monitor is meant to go big in size as well as resolution to meet your every possible needs. For example, home entertainment, it got you covered. If you're into gaming, maybe console gaming or high end PC gaming, you can do that. If you are a multitasker like those traders and cryptocurrency miners, it fits the bill well. For IO ports, it has VGA, 2 DisplayPort 1.2, HDMI 2.0, HDMI 1.4, audio in and audio out, 1 USB 3.0 uplink and 4 USB 3.0 downlink. The joystick control is located on the back right side which helps navigate through the on-screen menu. I find this approach to be much faster than those multi-button approach. I don't usually like glossy finish but man, white gloss finish on the back is really beautiful whereas the bezels are all metal finish. The thickness of the monitor is 0.9 cm, the bezel sides are 1 cm wide and the bottom bezel is 1.9 cm. When it comes to agronomics, there's no height or swivel adjustment though there's a tilt mechanism of 6 degrees forward and 21 degrees backwards. It supports VESA mounting for extra flexibility. Now aside from that, the monitor is locked into place via the V-shaped stand which is really sturdy and even if you touch it, there's little wobble to it. Now, this uses a 10-bit VA panel with 100% sRGB or 85% NTSC color gamut space which is really decent enough for basic uh, photo editing and video editing but it looks awesome when it comes to playing all those cinematic videos and also blockbusters videos. Now, when it comes to viewing angle, it is 178 degrees from all perspective and the, when it comes to brightness, it has 300 nits to it. The monitor features two 5 watt speakers which is good enough for basic listening. You will be having a better experience if you buy a dedicated soundbar that fits the shape and the size of the monitor to get that more cinematic feel when it comes to home entertainment for sound and also visual. Now this monitor is really joyful to use because it has this glossy screen that makes everything look sharp and vivid as well as it's a flicker free screen so you do not get that eye strain if you are sitting up close or basically using it for prolonged hours. Now this monitor have a multiple ways to use it. First, if you have multiple PCs running, you don't want to have a lot of monitors. For example, if you are a cryptocurrency miner that have a lot of those mining rigs, you can actually use up to four of the display inputs of the monitor to connect to multiple PCs, let's say up to four PCs into one physical view. That keeps everything easy to manage. For single PC usage, you can multitask by splitting up the screen into multiple sections based on your need and style. For example, setting your display as a video editor or going all out like a forex trader. If you're a gamer, you can play in window mode and view other applications as well. In my case, it's Spotify to listen to hippie music, but you can actually set it up to run OBS to stream your gameplay to Twitch, your YouTube, as well as Facebook. As you can see everything in one screen view. Or just go old school with full screen mode which is compatible with high end console device like PlayStation and Xbox. Many would think that this monitor is overkill when it comes to resolution or screen size but for me personally it gives the user a lot of flexibility to do and to meet their needs. Because think about it. When it comes to 25 inch to 828 inch screen monitor, yes, it, you can go 4K with it, you can do the split screening, but because of its size, it feels really restrained, restrictive, you, you, you can't move much. Whereas with uh, the 40 inch screen size and 4K resolution, it's like you can sit back and relax and enjoy and see everything much clearer, bigger and more comfortably. And that's where I would recommend this monitor, especially if you are a person who wants it all, who wants to be flexible, who does not want to be restrained, this is a good choice. I would recommend it. So thanks for watching this video. Comment below what do you think about this monitor. Remember to like this video, share this video on social media and subscribe to our channel so we can get more contents for you guys. And that's it. See you guys in the next monitor review. I have to give the monitor back. It's a review in it. It's not a keeper unit. Oh, so sad. I'm gonna miss it. You know, gaming on it. Overwatch, full screen mode, five meters back, wireless gaming mode. Oh, so enjoyable.